I feel ten years down the line, you know, like like right now, what what I'm doing is not valuable to people, and I've had people tell me, "Get lost! I don't want you around me because you're you know, you're not important to me." Basically. Right. Right. But ten years down the line, Sweetheart. these same people are coming up to me and saying, "I am so glad you did that, you know, right. that because you know I, my life is so different than what it was, and it's good to look back in that and somebody capture that." And that's yeah. the historian aspect of it. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. the, the and also, people cannot put on the rose-colored glasses and and re revise history the way they want it to, to because what? it's there now. It's. And the the really nice thing is like if we're in a you know, Setting where in, people in are dressed ways, up, the camera does not lie. Right, it, no, it doesn't lie. The thing that, that causes concern, like what my perception is, is that people are concerned that they're going to be participating in activities mm -hmm. that will expose them to potential problems. Because a lot of people I know smoke pot. A lot of people I know smoke pot. That's the reality. But you know what? Here's but where. Who here's, cares? Is my thing. It doesn't. Here's even where. Happen. Here's where the phrase really comes in. Be cool. And I don't use that term because I, I don't really like the word cool. But be cool means if you're going to do that stuff, don't go up in front of a cop and do it. Right. Don't but, do it out in public. But don't fear doing it in front of a camera either. Like, well, I mean, I'm to the point where I'm like, you know what? Like, I'm an advocate of people being themselves. Yeah, be yourself. But there's a place and a time. And if if you're afraid that you're going to expose yourself to a future problem then you are just as free to do it over there in the corner where I can't see you as you are in front, you know? Right. Well, and that, yeah, so I, my thing is that I think there are people who want, they want this sense of privacy. Yeah. Because they want to believe that what they're if doing is risky. they want the sense of privacy, risky, why are they doing it on a Well, there's an street? added, there is an added <laughs> sense of excitement yeah, of getting yes. away with something. Well, it's like having sex in the middle of a park. Yeah. Right, and you don't want to get yeah, caught. Yeah, I love that one. But now more and more and more people are having sex in the middle of a park, and then they're surprised that their boss is calling them in about a month later saying, uh, is this you on YouTube? Uh, right. I didn't know there were any cameras there. <laughs> right. Well, hello, there's smartphones everywhere now. Everybody's yeah. got a camera. So yeah. it's, it's time for the people, that's where people who want to wear costumes yeah. have a tremendous advantage because then they can be doing whatever they want to do and they're in a costume. They can do it no... as long as they're cool about it, as long as they're not doing it in a way that they're going to get themselves or anybody else in trouble. Yeah. You know. non so, sure. so Be what I'm, yourself. What I'm advocating is that people who are concerned about being recorded are naive. Yeah, they are. Terribly naive. And they have a very... Uh, um, it's a, it, um, they have a um, they have a very bad sense of what their privacy is. If you step if you step outside of your own house onto the street and you do something, don't expect there to be privacy. Yeah, there's no privacy. Even if you do it in your house and you leave the windows open, uh -huh. oh, because on. there's, there's a gigantic police station underground uh, near a place, and all the cameras on all these different. Yeah. Uh, Intersections, they're all on a screen in this place. Yeah, oh yeah. So and supposedly, if it's pointed at a window, they um, they made provisions that they cannot use anything they see in that. Uh, right. Really. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but the thing is, is if a police officer drives by your house and he s suspects that he sees you shoot somebody in the face through a window, yeah. that is enough for them to investigate. And, and problem. Yeah. Well, he has a duty, even if he doesn't see, he hears. Right. He so, has a duty. We expect him to fulfill that duty. So people are yeah. concerned. It's not cool to shoot. What people. I'm what concerned I about is like the Egyptian Revolution. Um, these kind of things are happening because we have ready access to media. We can see and hear things instantaneous, and authorities can't, you know, sweep it away and say, no, no, and lie. Right. And so you have. These people who I consider misguided, good my, good people but misguided, who think um, you're you're gonna you're gonna expose me doing something bad if you have all these cameras around. I don't like it, you know. Well, well, it's like, what are you? Are you are you in favor of despotism? Well, there, like that? I mean, this is a democratic it's, revolution. It's the happening. great equalizer. Yeah. The thing is, is that if you're in control, mm -hmm. perception is like you're part of a tight knit group. It's we the people who are in control now. Yeah. But as much control as we have, and we also have less control because we can't 
you know, I tell people, you need to take control of your own image. Right. And um, if you know somebody who's out there who can do a, pre a decent job in presenting and telling a story, you need to make an ally out of that person. Not tell that person to go to hell because you're such a great professional, I don't trust you with the cameras and stuff. Because, well, those again, people are there are, telling you that because they see you as a threat yeah. to their dominance. Again, I mean, that's what I perceive. I, I think that you, again, there are the smartphones out there, and um, <laughs> as many events as I've been told, well, you're not really welcome if you're going to show up with a camera, which I've been told that. Um, you just need smaller cameras. You know, like I, I go, I go, and I watch. Uh, I look on YouTube, and I see that event that I was disinvited to. Badly done well, with a smartphone, you know, like somebody shows up all drunk, like the frat boy shows up, you know, and it, you know, yeah, no, I know. shows up to an art event, and uh, you know, not somebody who was necessarily invited by the people that I know. And if they let a person of a higher caliber in, yeah, then it has the potential to wreak havoc on the power structure. Yeah. They would rather. I mean, I say this they, I'm not naming specific names, right? But there are people who would rather have the hack who's yeah. drunk with a camera phone because that person doesn't raise the bar. Yeah, well, the... the I mean, you know, there, there's no threat that someone's going to be better yeah, the or thing doing is, it to a higher quality. Well, everybody knows somebody who's, who's um, doing it, and it's like my buddy is a, uh, it's an aspiring filmmaker. They always say, he's an aspiring filmmaker. She's a... And, and so when it's because it's their buddy and then they see somebody out who's out there who's doing it day in and day out, does it for a living, they get threatened by that, you know. Right. It's like, it's not my friend who, who yeah. I sort of have under my wing, right. you know. Well, I mean, it's just kind of like performance art isn't in the theater. Yeah. Because theater requires a higher level of performance. What is in the fun of community, static. what's passing itself off as art yeah. video is punk less than punk <laughs> mm -hmm. i mean you know i mean so when someone comes in who actually in just a few minutes time can make something look so professional because you take time to master the tools mm -hmm. then it is a threat mm -hmm. to people who would rather than get to know you and appreciate your talent and learn from you yeah are going to throw you aside as quickly as possible because you remind them well of their there, acts. there is that aspect of it but you know i don't want to dwell on that that negative I mean, you know, the, the thing Well, yeah, is, I'd like to open it up and just make it inevitable. The thing is, it's like when you see um, these events, and for whatever reason, uh, uh, you know, I'm disinvited and other people I know are disinvited. Well, because you're going to show up with these cameras, we don't want that. You know, we don't like cameras here. And then you see it on YouTube. I know, right? You know, well, the, people who've shown up with a camera phone, and this is what I find really funny and ironic, is I... I come up to the, uh, I come up to the people. She's here. Hey. <laughs> I, I come up to the people and I will say, um, sorry, I'm in the middle of a point. <laughs> I come up to the people and I will say, hey, do you mind if I videotape your your event or take pictures? Oh no, no, you know, I'm glad you asked. Thank you. And then all these other people show up with camera phones or cameras, start taking pictures. Don't even bother to ask or anything. Anyway, you walked in the middle of a discussion. This is what I wanted to get set up and show you. Oh, this. nice! And you're on a live stream now. That's a live stream. Woo! And and that's what it's streaming. Woo! That's, Woo! This is the broadcast. This is the receiving end. Nice, nice. And I was showing them. You can key over the chat window. Well, one of you're the things that could possibly Wi-Fi? that could possibly work. It's something to maybe hammer out is, yeah. is the live streaming. So bands, n nobody, no fail, massive fail. But shows, live streamed, might get people to tune in if oh, it's something they really so wanted to see or if they yeah. just to learn that it would happen. Snuff jazz might be a, should be one to try. I mean, there's some bands out there that have a kind of cultish following. Oh. Yeah. That. If we can get people on board with it and stuff, yeah, I'm all in favor. Well, I'm just like, I'm, I, that's where I'm kind of maybe ahead here. Kind good. of like, guess what? You got no choice. Yeah. We're going to show up, we're going to record it. Now, do you want me to spin you to good light or bad light? Because well, I was, I was going to say, um, I was going <laughs> to say, too, that bad. when we do this show and it's camera crew and stuff. It was in my pocket, so it's already We need toasting. to get the disclaimers, too. 
and put it by the door. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen the movie uh, Decline of Western Civilization? Steve I don't think so. Um, watch the beginning of the movie Decline of Western Civilization. It's the best illustration of this disclaimer, and they did it. They did it this way for a reason. They began with the bands. They hand them a piece of paper, and the bands have to read this disclaimer. And it's hilarious the way they do it. They cut it out in each different band. Now, imagine one of the bands is the Germs. I don't know if you've ever heard of them. I... But the lead singer of the Germs was just totally drugged out, drunk all the time, total nihilistic punk named Darby Crash. And he, he starts out, be advised, and then they go to the next person, that by entering into these premises, you are being, you are consenting to be videotaped, or, you know, being, back then it was film, it was 1979, being consent, you're consenting to being filmed, to having your likeness used for a motion picture or for other purposes. Well, you've seen it. <laughs> have it memorized. Out of the keel now, like etched into the into the uh, power pole. Yeah. Like you were being monitored. Well, there, there's a uh, there's an actual disclaimer, and then there's a really legalistic disclaimer that's about this long. You can post or whatever, but right. it should be posted by the entrance plain view so that when people okay. walk in they see it so that when they see themselves on YouTube they can't say I'm gonna sue. Well they can, how can they sue? How could they sue possibly even sue? Because, because they can find, a, they can find anything. a greedy lawyer that'll take the case. Uh -huh. yeah. Not if you're posting it under the auspices <laughs> yes. of the LLC. I mean you know what you go down and form an LLC. Even more if you're a company because they're, they're lawyers who look for companies. Yeah, but they look for companies with balance sheets. Yes. Yeah. so you, you have to um, protect yourself by posting it. And, right. Um, and right. even having, uh, every so often, having somebody read it out loud to people. Is even well, I think that can be made as it. part of the show, like to make it really Watch good. Decline of Western Civilization. Okay. I want to see if I can find it. On a softer version, I heard a rumor from an ex-cop that, you know, in the big to-do things, you need all these legal disclaimers or say, you, what your, any of this re uh, conversation might be recorded. But I was told from the police point of view that if it's a small little nothing, like our conversation here, and you had a hidden recorder, that's legal. Because it's not a big thing, it's just your, your, uh, recording your personal life and they just happen to be talking to you. All right, I wonder if this has um, All right, I wonder if this has um, the actual disclaimer. No, they don't. Come on. Why don't the club owners hire the germs anymore? Germs manager? Yeah, because they were they were destructive. <laughs> Because when people show up, they break things. Okay, well, it's, we have it, it's picture, here. But we still hear our voice. Okay, well, we have it's here. We still hear our voice. Hey, we'll see ya. <laughs> no, they don't have it. They they go right to the beginning, but they don't have the very beginning. Oh, that's a trippy movie to watch. You should watch it. It's hilarious. Ooh. It was done by, I think... Um, Did you have a fun time? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was, uh, maybe, um, trying to, I think it may have been done by Penelope Spiros, who was known for other movies. Mm. <laughs> oh, and, you know, you're talking about safe art and stuff. Here's a manager saying they're not being very cooperative, and they, the man, they, the shows don't like them because they're not safe. And... <laughs> Stop this show! It's on the verge of becoming a riot. 